Right, brothers and sisters, welcome back to Food Pusker. This is the cheese series, and this is episode two. What cheese are you? But Dom's earning his salary, <laughs> which is a cold beer. <laughs> yeah. Now, if you've not seen episode one, I encourage you to go back and have a sniff. Yeah? Because <laughs> it's cheese and it's smelly, yeah? And it looks like some of you had a bit of a bad reaction to uh, bacteria. Welcome to the cheese series. Now listen people, we need to take it easy on bacteria, yeah? If we didn't have bacteria then we wouldn't have our beloved kimchi. We wouldn't have our wholesome sourdough and we wouldn't have cheese. Okay, so now let's have a little bit of an update. So, celebrities, check, they're coming on board. And then, collecting bacteria, check. So, in episode two, we're going to make cheese. And to do that, we're going to go and see one of the UK's most famous cheese makers. Alex James, bassist in Blur, respected cheese maker, and all round top fella. We popped to his farm to quite literally see what he had up his sleeve. Ah, hello. Hi, Alex. Hi cheers. Nice to meet you. Come on in, cheers. How are you? Hi, cheers. Nice Come have a cup of tea. Nice, excellent. I do get some fairly unusual requests, but this is this is right up there. What? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> the VNA called us in and they asked us to make four different cheeses. Fine. Sounds good. Exactly right. And so um, we thought we'd come and see you a cheese maker, but what they want us to do is they want us to make four different cheeses from four different celebrities, bacteria. One of the brilliant things about cheese is that the whole paragon of cheeses, the, all the different shapes and sizes and smells and textures, just four ingredients, right? All four cheeses are just milk, salt, rennet and bacteria. So you're talking about using spooky bacteria, right? You've probably heard about the good bugs in your tummy. Yeah. Um, just like that, we have a lot of good bugs all over ourselves and they've grown up with you. If you have kids, they probably have similar, what's called microbiomes as yourself. Um, so we're gonna take some of those little bugs, we're gonna swipe them off you, uh, ideally in a place, you know, that's maybe a little bit private, like your kind of armpit, somewhere that's warm and wet, somewhere where bacteria so like would, to would grow. So would they have been, they'd have been there my whole life, would they, those bacteria, just sort of nurturing my own strain of James? Exactly. James <laughs> they're, they're usually quite unique to you. Actually. Really? Yeah, yeah. What cheese are you? <laughs> it's a question I've often been asked. <laughs> Can we make any cheese? Can I be a camembert or, or a cheddar or, or a, I, maybe I, a little triangle? We, we, we don't exactly know. Okay, brilliant. But we're just, exactly, <laughs> we're just gonna, we're just gonna see how Alex James comes out. Brilliant. And then, and then we're hoping you'll taste your cheese at the end. That's if it doesn't kill anybody. Can Helena gain access to your armpit then? My armpit? Is that, <laughs> you think that'd be a good source of cheesy goodness? Good luck with this. <laughs> well, you can tell it's been a busy morning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Alex, thank you so much. <laughs> I can't wait to taste it. <laughs> really can't wait. Game Thanks on. Much, yeah, thank Brilliant. Excellent. Yeah. Alex, Jeez, it was Brilliant. a pleasure, and I'm looking forward to tasting your cheese. <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> Sorry. How's it going? Thank you. <laughs> just made some coffee. I came on a journey. Do you take it with oh, white? Just black. Just black. It's got milk in it. Then I'll take it with milk. <laughs> when I'm sorry, yeah. Yeah. Well, there's a little fox. I've oh, seen so many foxes this morning. <laughs> so I can't for the life of me remember where I'm going. But I'm hoping that I'll react <laughs> to the stimuli <laughs> of various places coming through. And then when it starts to come back to this speed again, I'll start to fill up that one again. Holy cow! 
That is essentially 100 litres of milk. And out of that 100 litres, we're only going to get 10 kilos of cheese, which we're going to turn into four different cheeses. Jacket. I'm watching an F1 racing team. <laughs> yeah, yeah, coming last. <laughs> I can't believe it's 8.30 already. Like we, haven't, we haven't made any cheese yet, and I'm knackered. Dom's heating the cheese up, and we've got 100 litres in the urn. Now normally when you make cheese, you make one cheese at a time, one variety, but we're crazy, right? We're gonna make a whole host of different cheeses. So Dom's gonna get it up to 30 degrees, the milk, and then we're gonna separate it out and begin the process of making all the different cheeses. So, oh, and uh, there's some more celebrities. Check this out. Excited, intrigued. Uh, interestingly, also, I was full of positive emotions. So definitely, I think that's down there. That I'm giving it love. Yeah. We've now heated it up. It's been separated into its four different vats. And now we're adding the rennet and the bacteria to so the four different ones. And then once the rennet starts doing its job with the bacteria, the milk starts coagulating, the cheese starts forming, the curds and whey, and that's when we start making the four different cheeses. Okay, so we've poured the milk mixture into its separate containers, and it's sat there now, and it's beginning to, to, to separate. The curds and whey are beginning to pull apart, and if you just pour your hand on the top, you can see that it's formed into a jelly, and, and it's separating from the sides. Now, the next job we've got to do is cut it, but you don't want to cut it too early because if you do, it means that the, the fat that's in the cheese goes into the whey and, and fat equals flavour. You want that in the curds. Okay, so the jelly's rested long enough now, and so I'm going to cut the junket into chunks of curd. And so now horizontally. Yeah, that's okay. really oh. tricky. So I think it goes to this the bottom and then try and work it back the other opposite way. And so the first one we're going to bring up to 32. Yeah. And stir. And when it hits 32, stop. Stop for Kieran stirring. Okay. And the reason that we need to carry on stirring will help to drive out moisture from the food. Okay. And then we're going to do this one at 36. This one at 40, yeah. this one at 55. Five. Okay, and we bring them up to them, the, 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 the required temperature, turn off, and then keep, keep stirring, stirring for five, five ten minutes. minutes. Okay. And then we can leave it. Okay, now we're gonna, for the different ones, we're gonna separate out the way, we're gonna take out the liquid. This is the cheddar style cheese that we took up to about 40 degrees. And just come and have a look at it now. You can see it turning into the cheese. Dom's working on the Lancashire style yeah. cheese. And basically what's happened is, is that now he's working it down. You would grind it down so it gets really thin and then you put it into a mold. But Dom's earning his salary. <laughs> So the Comte style cheese is kind of finished for now. We've put it into its mold, we've wrapped it in its cloth, and now like it's quite firm. And then we're weighing it down to keep firming it up and turning it into that cheese. Yeah, it's just amazing. I'm so tired. 
I haven't worked this hard since uh, it feels like I've done a double over the weekend in the kitchen. Like, it's just so hard. It's like 16 hours. But, people, we got four cheeses over there draining on the on the, uh, the sink. Four cheeses? I can't believe we made four cheeses. Oh, I just like, I just loved this whole process. And then tomorrow, I'm gonna have four different cheeses to show you. But that is next week, people. That's next Saturday. So tune in, increase the peace, spread the love. Me and Dom are going for a beer. That's a cheese. That is a friggin' cheese. I made cheese yesterday and now I've got cheese. Well, you can see how that's going to be a cheese. Cheese. <laughs>